Hello, it's Wes. Super Wes, that is. In this video, I want to talk to you about wheezes. What causes them, how to document them. The root cause of wheezes can have many different etiologies. It can be caused by asthma, um, irritants of some sort, chemical or natural. But the end result is that the person experiencing wheezes has either has a bronchospasm or inflammation of their airways. Bronchospasm occurs in the, mu the tiny muscles that line the bronchial tubes. As they start to get irritated and constrict, they get smaller and smaller and smaller. The typical treatment for bronchospasm is usually a bronchodilator, the most common of which are albuterol and levalbuterol. They're fast-acting bronchodilators that will decrease this bronchospasm almost immediately. There are some long-acting bronchodilators that are slower to take effect and that work over a 12-hour duration. When inflammation occurs, the bronchial tubes, which usually have a very th thin wall, start to get inflamed. And as they do get inflamed, the, the interior diameter of the bronchial starts to decrease, making it more difficult to breathe. The typical treatment for this type of situation is a corticosteroid. They can be inhaled, they can be ejected. Corticosteroids are not fast acting. They usually take 30 minutes to an hour or more to take effect and can last up to 12 hours or more. Even though it seems like the small decrease in diameter of the bronchial tubes wouldn't cause that much problem, it, it is, makes it very difficult to breathe with just a small decrease in the diameter. And by the same token, a small increase in the diameter makes it much easier to breathe. In these two breathing diagrams, you can see I have wheezing depicted. This is the inspiratory side and the expiratory side. And the little lines here notate wheezes. So in this example, the inspiratory is clear and the wheezes are only present on the expiratory side. So, here, if you, if you hear both the inspiratory and expiratory, often caregivers are not sure how to chart wheezes. In my opinion, the important things to document are the strength, the location, and when the wheezes occur. It could be mild or faint, moderate or heavy. The location could be the right middle lobe, the whole left side, or scattered throughout. And when? It might happen during the whole expiratory phase, or maybe just the end of expiration, or inspiratory and expiratory. Those are the important things to chart. Often, if you hear diminished breath sounds with mild wheezing, and give a bronchodilator, and after the bronchodilator, the wheezing has increased greatly. And you would chart it heavy wheezing, scattered throughout. This does not mean they're getting worse. If there's not as much air flowing through, they're not gonna make as much wheezes, and the breath sounds will be diminished also. But after a bronchodilator, there's a lot more air flowing, and it's very possible that they have a lot louder wheezes and scattered throughout. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.